A greatly improved version of the Su-27 is the Su-35. Construction started in the early 1980s. The Su-27M was the initial name of the aircraft when it made its first flight in 1988. It was envisioned as an extremely nimble Su-27 with much increased air-to-ground capability, primarily for use in air superiority operations. It featured a variety of advancements in the areas of engines, aerodynamics, avionics, and building techniques. Later, this aircraft was given the Su-35 designation. In the West, it is known as Flankery. The Super Flanker is another moniker for it. Fighters MiG-29 and Su-27 are being proposed to be replaced by the Su-35. Su-27M first production started in 1988. Later, it was given the Su-35 designation. Yet only 12 of these planes were finished. Comprising nine unfinished aircraft for the Russian Air Force. In 1995, production was stopped. The Su-35BM and Su-35UB are two upgraded iterations of the Su-35. However, only the Su-35S, which had its maiden flight in 2008, was ultimately the type that was mass-produced. According to some reports, the Russian Air Force had 68 Su-35S aircraft in service as of 2017. China became the first foreign buyer of these multi-role fighters in 2015 when it placed an order for 24 of them. In 2016, China received the first delivery of four aircraft. 14 airplanes were supposedly delivered in total by 2017. Indonesia placed an order for 11 aircraft in 2017, however the transaction was cancelled. The Su-35 is said to as a fighter of the 4++ generation. Notwithstanding the fact that it is essentially an improved Su-27 that first flew in 1977. The Su-35 is a fighter with a very long range, the ability to fly at high altitudes, and heavy armament. It is also very quick and highly maneuverable. Western 4-plus generation jets like the Eurofighter Typhoon, Dassault Rafale, F-15C, or F divided by a minus 18E Super Hornet are seriously threatened by it. But, due to stealth, it cannot compete with the US F-22 Raptor. Built on a tested Su-27 airframe, the Su-35. It can supercruise for a considerable amount of time thanks to its big and powerful engines. Its engines also enable supersonic travel without the need for an afterburner. This aircraft is exceptionally agile thanks to the three-dimensional thrust vectoring of the engines. It is currently the only fighter in production that employs two-plane thrust vectoring nozzles. Some aircraft with thrust vectoring, including the F-22 Raptor and Su-30 MKI, have nozzles that only vector in one direction. 11.5T of fuel may be carried by this aircraft. The Su-35's long range enables it to escort Su-24 interdictors. A passive phased array radar is one of the modern avionics on board the multi-role fighter. It can search for and track objects in infrared as well. The Su-35 is primarily a fighter with air superiority. It does, however, have auxiliary air-to-ground capabilities. This airplane has a huge capacity for weaponry. It has 12 hardpoints on the wings and the fuselage, and the maximum weight of the ammunition it can carry is 8,000 kilograms. For air combat, this fighter can carry a variety of IR and radar homing missiles, as well as short and medium range R-73 and R-77 missiles. Its arsenal includes KH-35 anti-ship cruise missiles. It can carry, if necessary. The Su-35 has a significant jamming capability and can transport an electronic warfare pod. It has been claimed that its sophisticated jammers can lessen the effectiveness of adversary radars. It has the ability to disable missile onboard radars like the AIM-120 AMROM. First produced between 1988 and 1995, the Su-27M. A total of 12 aircraft were constructed, comprising three production aircraft and nine pre-production aircraft modified from Su-27 airframes. 
The Su-27M was later renamed the Su-35. This initial version was never produced in its entirety. Su-37, Western Designation Flankery, Western Designation Flankery. It is an improvement on the Su-35. It was equipped with thrust vectoring experimental engines. The performance and maneuverability of this aircraft were improved. The aircraft systems and avionics were modernized as well. It had an upgraded fire control system and a fly-by-wire control system installed. In 1996, the Su-37 completed its initial flight. Due to financial issues and a lack of demand, only two pre-production technology demonstrations were constructed. This aircraft was vigorously promoted to both export clients and the Russian Air Force. However, it didn't get any orders for production. The first aircraft crashed in 2002 as a result of a software error. Terminating the Su-37 project. The creation of this aircraft was halted. Eventually Sukhoi introduced the Su-30 MKI and Su-35 BM, two modernizations of the Su-27. Both of these aircraft utilize Su-37 technology, including the enhanced radar and avionics, thrust vectoring engines, and other components. The Su-35BM was an enhanced model of the Su-35. It made use of some of the Su-37's cancelled technologies. It was equipped with updated avionics, radar, and AL-41F1S thrust vectoring engines. The airframe has undergone some changes. Canards are absent on this aircraft. Two-seat Su-35 UB trainer. It still has all of its combat abilities. In the late 1990s, a single aircraft was constructed. It is quite similar to the Su-30 MK fighter. The Su-35S is an upgraded variant of the Su-35BM. It was the initial version of the Su-35 that was mass-produced. The Russian Air Force operates this aircraft, which is being offered to foreign buyers. AL-41F1S engines are used to power the aircraft. 2008 saw the debut of this aircraft. The Russian Air Force placed a first batch order for 48 Su-35S aircraft in 2012. Since 2012, four of them at least have been delivered. There were reportedly 68 aircraft delivered by the year 2017. China and Indonesia both ordered this airplane. <laughs>